The alveolar gas equation allows you to calculate the alveolar partial pressure of oxygen for a given inspired pressure of oxygen and a given alveolar pressure of carbon dioxide. Providing you know these variables, you can calculate the alveolar partial pressure of oxygen or how much oxygen is in your alveolus. So let's look at the equation. We have P big AO2, which means the alveolar partial pressure of oxygen, is equal to the PIO2, which is the inspired pressure of oxygen, minus the P big ACO2, which is the alveolar partial pressure of carbon dioxide, over R, which is the respiratory quotient. The respiratory quotient is CO2 production divided by oxygen consumption, and we normally get a value around 0.8. The P big A CO2, which is the alveolar partial pressure of carbon dioxide, is approximately the same as the P small a CO2, which is the partial pressure of arterial carbon dioxide, and this is due to the rapid diffusion of CO2 uh, across the body. The only thing we don't know here is the partial pressure of inspired oxygen. So the PiO2, which is the pressure of inspired oxygen, is equal to the fraction of inspired oxygen, or the FiO2, so at room air that's 0 0.21 multiplied then by the atmospheric pressure, take away the pressure of H2O. Atmospheric pressure at sea level is 101 kPa, so looking at the 6.3 value that we're getting for the partial pressure of water, how do we get that? Inspired O2 is different from atmospheric oxygen because it is warmed and contains added water vapour that you supply via your trachea and your airways. Fractional inspired oxygen does not vary with altitude. However, barometric pressure falls with increasing altitude, halving every 18,000 feet. The partial pressure of water vapour remains constant at 6.3 kPa, or 47 millimetres of mercury. Meaning no matter what altitude you are at, the partial pressure of water will always be 6.3 kPa. So if you plug all this in, 0.21 multiplied by 101 take away 6.3, you will get 19.9 .9 kPa for your pressure of inspired oxygen. So given that we've talked about the partial pressure of water remaining the same no matter what altitude you're at, let's look at altitude in a bit more focus. So at an altitude of 63,000 feet, that's equivalent to an atmospheric pressure or barometric pressure of 6.3 kPa or 47 millimetres of mercury, but we'll take 6.3 kPa. The PiO2, if you look at this, will be 0.21, the fraction of inspired oxygen remains the same, multiplied then by 6.3, which is your atmospheric pressure, take away your pressure of water, which is 6.3. That means you're multiplying 0.21 by 0. So at 63,000 feet, the atmospheric pressure is equal to the pressure of water. And if you take this to its logical conclusion, it means the saturated vapour pressure of water equals its barometric pressure. And that means you'd actually boil at 63,000 feet which is not a very happy thought, although I can't really think of a time where we'd go to 63,000 feet, so it's best not to worry. This brings us nicely onto the alveolar arterial gradient, which shows the difference between arterial and alveolar partial pressures of oxygen, which we'll look at in the next video. In the meantime, please don't forget to hit subscribe and the notifications icon to find out when our next videos are coming out.